Thank you. Wait, so before we start this interview, I'd just like to say, no matter what you've done, you deserve respect. Even if you made mistakes, it doesn't matter about your looks, skills, age, size, or anything. You're worthwhile, and nobody can ever take that away from you. Okay, ready. Fashion. What is this coming to? Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. Hello and welcome to today's Watford Boys. Today we're going to be looking at the gorilla people that have now infested Year 11. Enjoy. Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, having spent most of my school life in the upper sets, I would not be able to give the answer to this question. However, due to recent experiences, I would say, in some sets, no. I would definitely say so, yeah. I've enjoyed their company. Uh, the last five years have sped by. So that's a very good sign. Excellent, you agree? I, uh, <laughs> not, not really, because well. we're bad. We, we do stuff. Yeah, sure, easy. Yeah, when you guys have been ill or away or things like that. Otherwise, well, we've put up with you for a little while. Yeah, even easy. You could have been worse somehow. Yeah, very easy. I get in trouble every day. And Miss Slater takes me out of the classroom every lesson. And my attendance is 67%. So you fat bean. <laughs> um, well, I've probably seen, I haven't seen the whole year group, obviously. I've seen, uh, which we say a select group of individuals, um, some of whom have been easy to teach in the sense that they've, uh, they seem to enjoy English. Others perhaps have been slightly more difficult to teach in the sense that um, they don't seem to learn from their mistakes terribly well. But uh, I would say in, in general, they've been pretty straightforward. Overall, I think we've been amusing. We've been a breath of fresh air to the school. Not many year groups have had students like for instance, me, or Jack, or Tom, for that instance. Well, my group has, because I've got a class of 13, which is pretty straightforward. Um, but I think certain combinations of people don't tend to go well. Someone can be fine in one lesson and not in another one. Um, and also in science, we teach you 7 and 8 on a Friday, which is the worst time to teach anyone. Oh, definitely not. Since year 7, we have made it almost impossible for teachers to, um, to, to teach their lessons. I remember at different um, occasions I've been sent out of the class, um, prob prob probably because of my fault, not the teacher's fault, so I certainly haven't made it easy for teachers. And I'd just like to thank all the teachers for putting up with me, and I hope that you'll continue to put up with me in sixth form, if I make it in. No, especially not for Mr. Connie. Um, <laughs> Mr. Hyatt! <laughs> Mr. Hyatt. Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, we haven't. No, teachers don't really like me and Elliot in science in particular. Uh, yeah, absolutely, yeah, yeah. Um, one, of the, one of the simplest year groups I've ever met. <laughs> have we been easy? Have you been easy? Or have I been easy? I wish I could be easy. We're all from different parts of the of the um, of the town of, of England, so not obviously not England, but around London. So we're so diverse, and we we all come together, and together we're actually crazy. So I describe this as crazy. It's got to be jokes. Um, eventful. <laughs> um, relaxed. <laughs> you can think what you mean. What I mean by that. Rowdy. Jokes, boring. Going soon, over, doesn't matter anymore. A couple of words to describe you guys. <laughs> Goodbye, the pretty best. Banks. <laughs> Certainly a, a, a good hardcore of hard working, classic Watford Grammar School for Boys students, and then the, the sort of rougher ones around the edges, we all know who they are. Uh, probably hear them out in the playground right now. 
um, so rough around the edges. Pessimistic. Um, eclectic mix of interesting and um, highly intelligent individuals. Am I allowed to swear? Wavy. <laughs> Misguided. <laughs> Fabulous. Uh, very lively, um, certainly in my year 11 history class, uh, with Elliot Harris and all that lot. Challenging. Exuberance. <laughs> <laughs> Fresh, fresh, yeah, fresh. that's a good. I like that one. Fresh crepes. Okay. Different. Mm. Unique. Unique. Um, unique. 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 Okay. Um, unique. Next question. Keep your mouth shut. Don't be a mug. Um, don't go looking for trouble. Work hard. Oh. Getting a high set for maths early on. Yeah, that's, the, that's the big one. I saw this on the video. On I know! The 11 video. Why did you have that stupid hair that was a muffin? What? Oh, that's you. Okay. Um, well, I look like a bright idiot with that. You do, you still do. Did you still have a muffin? Huh? No, you still have a muffin. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've only got it when it grows. And I don't cut it. Don't. End up in set seven maths again. I'll say that. Um, Dye your hair. And. Don't, uh, don't be yourself. Yeah, yeah be someone yourself. else. Be someone else. <laughs> well, I used to have a uh, strained hair in uh, year seven. Bad times, you know? Everyone has bad times. I think so, part of Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> 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 yeah, I still do. But anyway. Revise, it revise. That's all, all, everything I have to say. Yellow cards don't matter. <laughs> I'll tell my year seven self that it's not all work, hard work. There are some fun times. You'll make a lot of friends, so don't cry. Just try, just try to have fun, just try to relax and do what you can. Cutting your hair, going on a diet. Don't smash that car. You've grown older, you get a little bit richer, you become a little bit more dangerous, but as far as your money is concerned, you haven't quite got enough yet for us to steal off you, but you've grown, you've become a little bit more human, those are good things. Um, from a maturity point of view, probably not at all. Um, from a physical point of view, you've all got significantly taller, probably one of the tallest year groups I can imagine, uh, remember, um, which is something for someone like me. Uh, well, so every year group takes time, but in the end, responsibilities, knowing when to have a laugh, uh, just growing up generally to be very good young men, really. Probably uh, developed intellectually just about. I reckon that a lot of you started off um, sort of as amoebas, but through the hard work of the English department, we probably now got you slightly above that, so you're sort of on the early stages of the Darwinian evolutionary chain, I would have thought. Hopefully, if you stay on at A level, we can progress you a little bit further. Um, you've all grown a bit more than you, you're all um, growing, basically. Ooh, my highlight of Watford Boys. It's a tough one. There's been so many good times here. Um... What's your highlight, Zach? I became friends with Zach. Quite a few, like six percent of maths test. Uh, <laughs> uh, playing first team. Probably my highlight of time in school is probably doing a production of a few good men. Uh, for me, getting kidnapped by Tanina. Upper school play, definitely. Um, the friends I made. My highlight of you eleven was D V. Okay. <laughs> um. I would say Hailing Island, the trip, the trip, no one really knows it. I would say the same trip. <laughs> I think it was Hailing Island. 
I think on the whole, year 11 is quite a nice year group. I don't think there's lots of unpleasant people. Um, not really argumentative, just silly. So, they're, they're okay. I don't mind year 11. Okay, so no ideas in year 11. Well, I mean, that's yet to happen, because obviously you'll be leaving next week, and that will probably be the most memorable moment as we watch your uh, ugly behinds disappear through the school gates. Unfortunately, only for you to return. Um, in the lessons that follow, obviously some of you will return. Um, Friday afternoon, periods seven and eight, I can't think anywhere I'd rather be than teaching my year 11 class. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be at a loss to know what to do. Um, probably Kiernan getting his homework on time once. Um, Tom doing his homework. Um, uh, John O coming to a lesson not in trainers but in shoes. James Chaff arriving on time without a coffee uh, or donut stamp crammed into his into his mouth. When the bell goes, that you'd be going home and we won't have to see you anymore. I suppose that's been a good thing. And well, to be fair, you eleven. I've obviously I've been a hockey coach for uh, for your good for the last three years, so I've had a few memorable moments with them. I think uh, some really, really fantastic sportsmen, um, people like Simon Walker and Andy Tom will stand out to me as uh, people hopefully who are going to represent the school for, for a few years to come. Well, just seeing them develop their friends, basically, um, develop an association with the school, and hopefully seeing their enjoyment, seeing that the rewards the school can give them, and understanding that they've got to step up to the plate, do their best, so overall, seeing them grow up and become fine young men. No, you guys have turned out okay. We didn't think you would. I lost some money on bets. <laughs> Nervous. No. Next year. No. Yeah! No. Yeah! So because I'm used to... Um... Uh, I'm not nervous, but... You know... We've got, uh... We've got, uh... We've got to take things into consideration, you know? Nah. Feel good. It's fine. Nervous, though. Not at all. Um. Nah, man, it's confident, you know. Um. <laughs> not yet. No, it's not. It won't kick in for a bit. I yeah, yeah. But uh, we'll buzz in for summer. So. Yeah. Got hopes for the future. We need that. We need. It. <laughs> the more exciting that, there's less subjects. To no, not at all. This year, yes, but not next year. Um, am I nervous? Not really, to be honest, because I know that I'm going to have to back up and do a lot of hard work, but I've kind of been expecting it and prepared for it, and I know it's not going to be a lot different to what school's like now, so, no, I'm not nervous. Yes, a lot. I actually, what? I don't know. I'm quite, I'm quite looking forward to next year, because you, you study something you like to learn, isn't it, apart from, like, not six subjects that you hate, isn't it? So. Whether you'll get back in. Both. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> just <laughs> <talk. laughs> Anyway, um. No, because we. we yeah! See, look, even Aaron's leaving now. It depends, it depends whether <laughs> I make it into the school or not. Yo. I'm not going to tell you what it is. Well, I'll talk about it as I speak at the interview now, is to say that uh, GCC is coming up. Don't underestimate them. Do your very best. When you get to the sixth form of the competition you have, you've got to give it your all and make sure if you do want to go to university, it's the one of your choice, or if you want an apprenticeship or a job, put yourself in the best possible situation you can do. Um, a little serious advice um, if you're leaving the school is, is, is staying in, in touch if you want to. Um, you know, I think you've invested a lot of time here and we've invested a lot of time in you over the last four, five years and um, you should never feel as though you're a stranger. Um, so if you ever need sort of help or sort of advice or whatever, then you know the school is always open, or has its doors open in that respect. Um, but I think if you are, if you are leaving the school, then I obviously wish you the very best of luck and hope that you know uh, you get you go on to do what you want to do. And if you're staying on for A level, um, again, well done. Uh, I think it's the right choice. Uh, a great place to do your A levels, and um, hopefully as well you'll, you'll go into universities or whatever you want to go and do. Um, main thing, enjoy that massive long summer holiday that you get because um, you don't get many of those in the real world um, so make sure you get your sunbathing and everything done during that time because uh, when A-level comes or college comes it, uh, it gets a bit busier. Uh, please uh, work hard, 
enjoy yourselves, make the most of every opportunity that comes your way and stay in touch with your friends. And please keep in touch with the school, we'd love to know how you're doing. Enjoy it while you can with few responsibilities, work hard, you'll end up getting a job that you spend more time doing than anything else, so make sure you work hard so you do a job you like. Well, for those, those who are staying, I can't wait to see you back in uh, September. For those of you that are moving on, um, remember that you're always part of the school uh, and we look forward to hearing about your successes in the future. I was at a, an event yesterday that Lord Sugar was speaking and he said that what he would say to his 16 year old self was don't waste it. This is the opportunity for you to do anything that you want to do. This is the time where as you move out of compulsory education, you can fulfill whatever ambitions you've got. And I think the most important thing is that you have ambitions, that you want to succeed, because if you do, you will. So best of luck. <laughs> oh, the questions. Why, if it helps. Um, oh, yeah, can we swear and then you bleep it out? What, a, what about No, this no, is, this no. Is no. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> just as a joke. What's seven times four? <laughs> Lots of good things. Trips, times we've spent with you guys in rugby teams or things like that. The fact you don't have your sons anymore and keep interrupting. That sort of is good. I'm asking the question. You know, I'm camera shy. Next question! Is that Gears in Happy? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> um, yeah. Gay, maybe. <laughs> the only word we know. Uh, yeah, <laughs> gay. I'm searching through my vocab, so wait. <laughs> Shit, yeah. <that's> unique. <laughs> You're bad. Okay. Okay, next question. Um, <laughs> Run! <laughs> Come, Come back, you dumb idiot. <laughs> <laughs> See, you never. No, we can't. We can't. Can we write a script? <laughs> Flappy.